Hey guys, today we answer the world's biggest question, how to big booty mix. She just moved to LA, go to UCLA, and she drive a couple months ago, I decided I want to make a mix. So I searched the internet for how to make a mashup like a big booty mix, and I could not find anything. And I wasn't the only one with this problem. Over the past few months, I spent countless hours studying big booty mixes, and enough so to make my own mix, which you can check out below. But I thought everyone should have access to this knowledge, so I hope you guys enjoy this video a lot. And if at fa la 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 wherever you are, I hope this finds you. As always, one of the first 10 commenters will receive a custom remix or mashup of their choice, but I'll shut up now. Here's a preview of my remake of Big Booty Mix 18, which I'll play for y'all at the end. If you're just interested in seeing that and you don't want to learn anything, you can go ahead and skip to the end. Otherwise, let's get started. So what Two Friends does that makes their mixes so good and so reliable is their consistency. Ever since sort of Big Booty Mix 11-ish, they figured out a formula and just stuck to it and it's worked so well for them. They come at you with a sick intro and they'll hit you with like maybe 40, 45 of their normal drops and then have an outro for an hour long mix. Uh, what they use for their instrumentals during the buildups is going to be just like mainstream EDM songs. The tempo is almost always 120 to 130. And these songs are normally three to four eight bar sections long in a build up. They got like an intro and then a breakdown and then a build. So what Two Friends does is they almost always use only three eight bar sections. So I'll show you all later, but they manipulate their instrumentals a lot. And then as you can see here, these instrumentals are gonna be followed by three acapellas, one for each of the eight bars. So they use a verse from each acapella and pretty much it's always three different instrumentals unless it's like over here where they use the perfect acapella for two. Lastly, the drop. Two Friends uses two different types of drops in their big booty mixes. Uh, their more common one is the Future House drop, like Don Diablo, Retrovision, which comes in with a pop acapella. And then they use a cool way to fit their rap acapellas in, which is by using a trap drop, which is a mix of a trap instrumental and a rap acapella. To make your own sick mashups, you're gonna need high quality acapellas and instrumentals. So that's why I'm giving y'all 200 studio quality acapellas and 50 studio quality instrumentals from the top hits of the past decade. The link's gonna be up here or in the description below. Now let's get back to it. Now comes the difficult but hard and super rewarding part to making a mix, picking the right acapellas to match your instrumentals. Sometimes you just have a great idea that will come to you You'll just write it down, you'll hear a song, you write it down in your notes, you'll put it in the software, FL Studio, Serato, whatever, and boom, it sounds great and you're done. Other times you have to work a little harder to find your acapellas. The main thing to getting a good mix for an acapella and instrumental is they have to be in key. If you don't know what being in key is, I would check that out. I also have a video up here of how to uh, pitch stuff and make it in key. So here we have Faith by Galantis is going to be an A flat major and Misery by Maroon 5 is an E minor. His relative major is G major. So we're going to have to go from G major up one semitone to A flat major. I've already pitched it up. I use Melodyne to shift my acapellas. You can easily do it in FL Studio by going here to channel settings and pitching it up 100 cents or one semitone. And you're gonna have to do this for all your acapellas in your build. So make sure they're all in the same key. Make sure the uh, tempo of the acapella fits the tempo of the instrumental. So here we have Misery, which I just looked up. You can look it up online, is 103 BPM. So we're gonna click fit the tempo. And then that's gonna give us this. We go to the type in BPM. Then we would type in 103 and press check and what this is going to do is fit it to this tempo up here at the top of the track so you have to make sure your instrumental is the same as that BPM. When it comes to picking acapellas what Two Friends does such a good job as is they pick acapellas from all different genres pop, newest releases, oldest releases, country, rock, you name it and so pretty much anything's fair game the only rule is that it typically has to be above 
85 BPM to 130 BPM, if you try to speed up something in the 70s, it's just gonna sound way too fast. And that's why Two Friends doesn't include a lot of rap in their buildups, just because it's so hard to fit those. When it comes to arranging the order of the acapellas in the buildup, you're just gonna wanna usually put them in order of increasing energy, or just whatever sounds best, just to keep the hype building up. Another thing Two Friends does a great job at is manipulating instrumentals. If you learn how to correctly manipulate instrumentals, you'll have so many more mashups available to you. Here in the I Found You drop in Two Friends' latest Big Booty Mix, they did two key things. One was they skipped part of this uh, intro. So they had this long intro, but as I told you earlier, we only want three eight bar sections build up. This is way too long of a build up in the original song. So what they're gonna do is they're just gonna cut that off here. And the second part uh, is that they changed the build up. So if you look in the original song, I Found You goes from here. which we don't want to use because melodic buildups are much harder to fit acapellas over, especially super melodic ones with not much else behind them. So instead, what Two Friends did is they looked around the rest of the song, and luckily they were able to find a different buildup for the second buildup, which is way less melodic and fits much better with their mix. <laughs> Together, both of them sound like If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more cool content. Also, go check out my new mix in the description. So make sure to watch to the end because I got a few bonus tips for you. Now for everyone's favorite part of the Big Booty Mix, the drop. The two friends uses two different types of drops in their Big Booty Mixes. We have the normal future house drop. Like this with someone like Don Diablo, Retroversion, a nice groovy, typical EDM drop. And these are all between like 126, 128 BPMs. You rarely even have to adjust the tempo of these. Also, we're gonna want to try to find a drop that is in the same key of our instrumental before so that we have some continuity. That's pretty important. If not, pitch shift the drop, maybe a semitone or two to make it fit the key of the buildup. And then with this kind of drop, we're just gonna bring in a nice pop vocal, adjust it for the tempo, make sure it's in key in the second half. Pop vocals typically work a little better than rock or country here just because they are uh, not too obtrusive. Here's another example. Here though, I uh, actually used a uh, acapella remover to remove the acapella from this lunar drop, and that's why it's gonna sound pretty funky. One of my biggest recommendations to y'all is try to use high quality studio stuff as much as you can. If you're using low quality instrumentals, it's just going to sound pretty shitty as a whole. This is a trap and rap drop. And we're going to use a nice trap beat, something like RL Grime here, Skrillex works really well. And then this matches well with the rap acapellas because they're pretty similar BPMs, normally in the 70s. So we're gonna have and together. And yeah, that's pretty much it for our drops. I cannot stress enough how important it is to use high quality instrumentals and acapellas. They just make your mix sound so much cleaner.
and my acapella and instrumental packs are right here or in the description below. Also, while Two Friends doesn't use quite as many automation clips and special effects as you would think, they definitely use some. Uh, one creative way in which they use it is to make their build-ups more hype and also tease the drop. Here's an example of that. Adding in your instrumentals for the drop is a great idea always. They do it a bunch. If you want to figure out how to do that or to do it better, check out my video up here. While Two Friends doesn't use as many special effects as a bunch of other mashups do, they definitely do use them uh, occasionally and they use them pretty well. To uh, help start the Mr. Brightside instrumental, you can see we have this transition from the drop of home to on my mind. It kind of fades out for a bit. We could definitely use something, some oomph to give it a little more spice. So we give it a nice little impact. Uh, in addition, Two Friends has a great job of transitioning from one song to the next. If you want to figure out how to better do that, you can check out my video up here. Key is used, some reverb, some delay, the transition out of the first song, some sweeps, and some impacts, and then you most importantly have to get the timing of the notes right. And of course, you can't have a big booty mix without the filler sound bits. <laughs> what Two Friends does here is actually really smart. They make sure the acapella and instrumental are completely out. So all you hear here is just the sound bit. So it just kind of takes the excitement out. You hear the sound bit. And then straight into a hard drop. As promised, here's my remake of Big Booty Mix 18. She just moved to LA, go to UCLA. And she drive a Maserati, and she got a body. She be trying to party. If you want to go check out the full version, I'll link a, leave a link to that up here. So if you want to explore Big Booty Mix 18 more on your own, go check out 101tracklist.com. They have all the Big Booty Mixes on here and they'll give you the full rundown on tracklist, what the acapellas, what the instrumentals are. That's how I did my Big Booty Mix remake. Also go check out tunebat.com. It's a great website. They'll give you the key of the song. It's BPM, but not only that, they'll also give you recommendations for similar songs, which you can use the popularity and energy tools to help find acapellas and instrumental matches for your mix. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I can't wait to be back with more content.